Oh, Annika, you move. I will do my best. So anyway, this is the these little holes here are the spiritual. So again, categories don't move through their mouths. So remember, insects have six. Insects have zero legs, six two legs. Now it looks like they have a lot more legs, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the true legs. Looks like one was missing, actually. Maybe okay. it's chewed off or something. Oh no. And then these are called pro legs. And these are crochets. They're like little hooks at the bottom of it. So, but these are pro legs. These aren't the real legs. You know, they call it the, the tobacco or tomato hornworm, depending on what species you have. So, because of this little horn here. Okay. Okay. That little horn. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it the hornworm. I'm so oh, I wanted to do it. Um, and then, of course, this is the head, and I could probably do another filming of it afterwards. So. I could use your help for that too. Gotcha. Um, anyway, this is the uh, again the spiracles where they breathe through these little dots. That means they'll lead to little tubes called trachea and tracheoles that you'll see in a moment. So normally we just pin it through the lower area. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then uh, <laughs> and the normally I like to pin right above, right below its face. Oh, it's neck. It's neck is what we call them, yeah. Like like snakes, they don't exactly have parts. <laughs> and then I like to uh, cut a pro leg off, and that'll provide a hole. He's just chilling. Though. He's just dead. Yeah, but chilling. Get it? Because he's in a cup of ice water. Pro leg off. Oop! 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 Then you just now you're not going to dig in deep, you're just going to do a light cut on the cuticle, just pulling it up on the skin. And again, they don't really have skin like we do, they mm -hmm. have, it's, it's made of chitin, so we call that cuticle. What is it like? Um, uh, insect wings made out of chitin, yep, the whole, yep, the whole insect is for the most part outside of their other tissues, of course. Looks so fun. Yes, Kelsey, you're very responsive. <laughs> now we're going to slowly open it up. Ooh, it's good. Yep. Now I'm going to describe each of the different parts to you. Is that silk? And no, actually, a lot of that is depending on which tubes you're talking about. Some of them are. Parts of its uh, nervous system, some of it's part of the fat body, some of it is their digestive system. You can see where the food is, that's their digestive system. That would be their gut. Um, these little white tubules here are called malpigian, malpigian tubules. They all kind of line up and end up here by the gut. They're like the kidneys of the caterpillar. So their job is to filter the blood of the caterpillar. And then the, a lot of this other white tissue is called fat body. It's like the liver of the caterpillar, it's detoxification and metabol you know, metabolic kind of stuff. Um, you can see there are nerves even. I'm going to see if I can pull that. It's easier to see them under the microscope, of course. I don't know if we have a, anybody have a bright light from their phone. Maybe we can use that. Oh, she's done it. So, oh. oh. Is there any forceps in that box over there? So anyway, the obviously is my pen. So this is the malpigian tubules. Thank you. This is now these tubes here. You see these tubes right here? They're coming from a spiracle. Those are trachea. Those are the air tubes right here. See how there are a lot of air tubes? Mm -hmm. Those they're all kind of whitish, but these are a lot thinner than these. And they came from the holes, those spiracles. And then um, let me see if I can look under the microscope. Uh, let's see. So those are definitely spiracles. 
I was going to see if I can show you a nerve cord. Anyway, it's really obvious when you look in the microscope. Um, let's see. Bailey, how are you doing? I'm watching him. Uh, here is the salivary. This right here that is pulled up is the salivary glands. They're actually long enough that they go all the way from their neck all the way down to their toes and in quotes. But you can see you can see the air tubes really well here, right? Mm -hmm. And then here's the fat body. This is what is like the liver. So the fat body really clearly looks like a fatty nut. And You're right behind that cup. Uh oh. Yeah, you should probably do that. Uh... Anyway, here's the gut. I was going to try to show you the nerves. I didn't see it on this one very obviously. That means they're usually pulled to the side somewhere. Okay, so let's just test ourselves real quick. What is this, these white tubes here? They're attached to the wall. Trachea? Yeah. They're the air tubes. What are these big white tubes here? <laughs> the kidney tubules. And they're like the kidneys. Oh, okay, I found the nerve cord. There's a nerve cord. It's actually, when I touch it, it actually makes the muscles move. Can you see the nerve cord? That's the nerve cord. That's actually a nerve. <laughs> and when I touched it, it actually made the muscles move. See, look, see how it made, made it the, Yeah, it can move. By touching it. The muscles contracted when I touched it. Anybody want to see the nerves? Okay, here's the nerve. This, the white spot in the middle of that nerve is the ganglion, but that's a nerve cord right there. So the nerves actually travel down the front side of the animal. Of the, so that's just one nerve cord right there. And it goes all the way down from the neck. And that, and that spot that's a little thicker, is mm -hmm. called a ganglion. Okay. Yep. So again, to retest ourselves, these are the kidneys, they're malpigian tubules, that's the white stuff here. These, this white stuff here is fat body. It's like the liver. This is again a, the nerve. Um, this here, another white thing is a salivary gland. Let's see if I can pick it. That's a salivary gland right there. And um, this is the gut. This is the foregut, the midgut, and then this is the hindgut. That's the basics of it, anyhow. And then again, uh, you got the gist. All right. So um, we can pull the gut out. You can do all sorts of things like that. And then you can see the map. And then the is even more obvious then. So anyway, um, you're welcome to dissect the caterpillar now. If we decide to pull out the gut, we may look at it under a microscope or analyze it for gene expression or proteoplasm. Okay. So that's what we'll do for the chemistry part of it. Again, so if you decide to dissect a caterpillar, I do have a couple on ice. Um, you do one or two or one per group or one per person. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so anyway, um, those playing at home, um, just kind of write what you learned and send me a quick email, and um, you have a good rest of the day. Talk to you all later. Bye. Good night. Mm -hmm.